What's up YouTube? It's Darren, the Bowtie Fragrance Guy on the channel where we talk about fragrances as well as fashion. So if you love looking good and smelling great, then I invite you to go ahead and click the subscribe button and make sure you click that bell icon to get notified when I upload new content on the channel. So on today's video guys, we're going to be talking about five fragrances I have in my collection that are very masculine that women love. I don't remember what movie it was, but I remember a lady saying, sometimes I just want a man to smell like a man. <laughs> what movie was that? I can't remember what it was. Was it The Color Park? I don't know. I don't remember the movie. I very well could be making that up. <laughs> but I think I remember a lady saying that in a movie. I just need a man to smell like a man sometimes. But, hey, and if that's you, if you love masculine smelling fragrances, then this is going to be the list for you. Now listen, fragrances, different kinds of fragrances appeal to different kinds of women. Some women love the fresh and clean stuff. Some women love, you know, the really heavy, rich, sweet stuff. But some women really love those masculine fragrances. And that's what we're going to be talking about on today's list. So if you want to see what made the list, then you know the routine. Keep it locked right here. All right, guys, we're back. Thank you so much for keeping it locked in. We're going to go ahead and jump right into the list. And this first fragrance definitely fits the description of a very masculine fragrance that women absolutely adore. This one comes from the House of Initial Parfums, and this one is called Oud for Greatness. Oud for Greatness. And this fragrance, when you even read the notes, it has all the makings of a masculine fragrance, and it has a mass appeal to it that women really, really seem to respond to. It has lavender, saffron, oud, musk, patchouli. Again, very, very beautiful fragrance. Again, that lavender gives it that really masculine kind of food, slight fougere kind of quality. But man, the oud, the patchouli, and the saffron, again, some of those heavier, more rich notes that, again, make all the makings for a nice masculine fragrance. I love this stuff. This one gets a lot of compliments and a lot of attention from members of the opposite sex, if you know what I mean. Women love this stuff. It is what it is, and it's nice, sexy, and masculine. So check this one out from the house of Initial Parfums. This one is called Oud for Greatness. All right, guys, and speaking of a masculine guy that smells good, listen, man, women ain't gonna really pay you any attention, even when you smell good if you're not looking your best. And that's where Tease Hanley comes into play. Look, I've been talking about Tease Hanley for the past couple of months now, and listen, they have some very simple skincare regimens that just work, man. We don't need things complicated as guys. Fellas, you know how we are. We're about that with everything, man. We just want things to be simple. But give me choice A or B. I don't need 25 different options. I need A or B. Compare them and let me pick the one that's the best. That's how we operate as guys. And that's why I love this skincare regimen because they made it really simple for us to understand. Now, contingent upon your needs, there's a lot of different options that you can choose, but I just keep it really, really simple. You know, I like to use the morning facial wash and the morning moisturizer to make sure that my, my skin is hydrated when I go outside, of course, and go out into the day. And then at nighttime, I like to use the evening moisturizer and the evening facial wash. And again, I always tell you guys, I use the eye serum as well to help control uh, bags forming underneath my eyes, and I love this stuff. But man, T. Chandler has made things even better because guess what? They've added a lot of new products to uh, the portfolio as of late. You can get hand sanitizer, you can get hand cream, body wash. I mean, there's a lot of different products that you can use and that I've actually been enjoying myself. But guys, the base products that they talk about, which is the skincare products are very, very important, man. Guys, we gotta take care of our skin. Again, I always say if you're going to be smelling good, you might as well be looking good as well. And Tease Hanley can help you with that. And because you guys are my subscriber, Tease Hanley is hooking you up. So if you make sure you click that link down in the description, you're going to get a free gift for getting started with your skincare regimen today. So go ahead, guys. Don't delay. Click the link down below and get started for as low as $25 with a skincare regimen that works. So not only will you be smelling your best, but you'll also be looking your best as well. So guys, click the link down below and get started 
with your skincare regimen from T. Shanley today. All right, guys, the next fragrance on the list comes from the house of Tom Ford. And when it came out, this fragrance was met with mixed reviews. I myself was one of the people that did not really care for this fragrance at first, but now I love it. And again, it's from the house of Tom Ford, and this is Noir Anthracite. Noir Anthracite. No, this is not a mass appealing fragrance by any means, but for the ladies out there that love a man to smell like a man, they absolutely adore this fragrance. It is rich, deep, dark, and mysterious and masculine. Some of the notes in here, of course, you have some leather in here, you have some amber wood, you have some birch, some spices, galbanum. Again, rich, deep, dark, masculine. And that's what this fragrance is, man. You put on all black and throw this fragrance on, game over. Check this one out from the house of Tom Ford. Again, this is called Noir Anthracite. All right, guys, the next fragrance on this list, this one comes from the house of Fragrance One, and this one is called Black Tie. Black Tie, say what you want about Jeremy, but man, this fragrance is absolutely phenomenal. He has some fragrances from his collection that are really, in my humble opinion, some phenomenal fragrances. I love Date, I love Office, but I think this is my favorite of all of them, and that's Black Tie. Again, if you want to smell good, if you want to smell masculine, this is a fragrance that I highly recommend. It's very, very rich. It's really, really woody, slightly sweet, but it's one, again, that is really, really masculine when you put it on your skin. Great for black tie events, as the name indicates. And again, for those women that love a nice, sexy, masculine, manly fragrance, this is one that I highly recommend, guys. So check it out from the House of Fragrance 1. This is called Black Tie. All right, guys, the next fragrance on this list, my God, this fragrance had to make a list like this from the house of Louis Vuitton. This is Ombre Nomad. Ombre Nomad, we're talking about rose, oud, leather, and raspberry. Oh, man. I'm not even going to, listen, if you want something masculine, something that smells good, something that's going to draw a lady in, this is one that you got to put your nose on, man. It's kind of expensive, but if you can get a sample, or if you just want to plunge, make the plunge and buy a bottle of this. If you love rose and oud, you never love a nice, deep, dark, masculine fragrance that features the note of rose. This is one I am sure you will enjoy from the house of Louis Vuitton. Again, this one is called Ombre No Mind. All right, guys, and last but not least on this list of fragrances, masculine fragrances that women love, this one has been really getting a lot of attention in my personal uh fragrance life for the past couple couple months here from the house of rosa dove this is called a midsummer's dream a midsummer's dream and do not be fooled by the name to me this is not a summer fragrance but this thing is really good man it's really really spicy uh when it opens up but the beauty to me is in the dry down you get a little small hint of rose in this but when it dries down you get a nice really woody masculine base with some musk and some vetiver, some orris in here, cedar wood, I think as well. One that you definitely need to check out, man. This thing is masculine, spicy, sexy, and it smells amazing. So check this one out from the house of Rosie Dove. This is called A Midsummer's Dream. All right, guys, that's it. That's my time. I hope you enjoyed this video. As always, I appreciate your time and attention to watching these videos because of course you could have been anywhere else in the world, man, but you took a few moments to watch and I sincerely appreciate that. Now don't forget to take a few moments to like, comment, and subscribe, and go ahead and share these videos out to some folks that you think could use this information or find me entertaining because I'm your guy, Darren, the Bowtie Fragrance Guy. I love to look good, and of course, I love to smell amazing. So until next time, guys, keep looking good, keep smelling even better. I'll catch you on the flip side. <laughs> Peace.